Welcome to the Purple Chips tutorial webinar. I'm John Schwinghammer, the author of Purple Chips, which is published by John Wiley & Sons and available everywhere. First, the disclaimer. The information contained in this presentation is not intended to be a solicitation to buy or sell securities and is not intended to be an investment advice. All information in this communication is based on the criteria of the Purple Chips model and has not been approved by the author's employer. The information contained herein is believed to be accurate but cannot be guaranteed. Investing in the stock market can be risky and recipients of this communication should consult a professional before investing in the securities market. The subject of today's tutorial is reading the EPS line. What I want to show you today is essentially you know, what is the EPS line, how do you know when it's at a low valuation or a high valuation and how do you set the range. So what we're looking at today is CR BARD. This is the 20-year chart of CR BARD, and you can see, if you look at my cursor here, we're starting back here in 1992, and we go all the way to present time. We finish here at 104, uh, sorry, 103.97, which is the closing price of today, July 23rd, 2012. And so you can see that there are two uh, sets of data on this chart. There's the stock price which is the yellow line here, which tends to go all over the place over the years. And then you've got this very steady white line, which is the earnings per share line. And the way this is set up, you have the earnings per share line finishing at the last trading price. So it's no coincidence that the earnings per share line is exactly at 103.97. So anytime that I show you these charts, the earnings per share line is always finishing at the price. Okay, that's the way they've been set up. And essentially, the earnings per share line starts usually around where the uh, stock price starts and, and that's no accident either. That's because there's a, a relationship in the valuation there. Now, how do you determine, okay, actually first let's talk about earnings per share. Earnings per share, okay, what you're seeing here is the trailing 12 months earnings per share. That's made up of the last four quarters of earnings. So if I look at this chart at any point in time, let's say I look right here, Okay, uh, if you look at the crosshairs, this is back in January 2007. The stock price was at 82.52 and the earnings per share were 3.30 per share. The left hand scale shows 3.30 per share, that's the earnings, and on the right hand scale you can see the last trading price was actually, well at this time, uh, let's see, back here, the, uh, the stock price was around 82 and, and change. Now, the reason that they don't match up here is because the, the earnings per share line is matched up with the last trade price. And so that's the way they progressed over the years. And this is the current trading price. Now, let's look at how do we tell when it's a low valuation or a high valuation. Now, when I look at this, this chart here, this is telling me that CR bar is actually in the mid-range here. Because back here, and I actually I'll just draw this in here, when the earnings line was that, that was indicating a low valuation. Even back here, okay, the earnings line would have been something like this, and that would have been a low valuation too. And notice that in both those cases, you subsequently had higher valuations. Okay, so what I'm trying to do there is show you the slope of the earnings line matched with the last trading price. So that kind of tells you it sort of shows you how you can see the uh, the range in the uh, in the valuation. Okay, so let's let's say that based on the slope of the earnings per share line, that's how you tell what the what you can expect for the stock price. So based on this shape of earnings per share line, this is what we would call the low valuation, and that means that we would be buyers around this level here. And we should be, if, if we assumed that it would go back to the same high valuation as back here, then we would expect CR BARD to reach somewhere around that zone. Okay, because that's the shape of the earnings per share line. And that's based on this high valuation here and this low valuation here. We're not trying to pick the absolute bottom or absolute high. What we want to do is buy these things when the odds are in our favor. So we're buying at a low valuation or selling at a high valuation. That's how you read the earnings per share line. 
That's the whole gist of purple chips, understanding that stocks trade in a pattern that mirrors the shape of the earnings per share line. So that's all for today. Thank you for listening. And uh, if you have any questions, please consult the website, purplechips.com, or send me an email or give me a call. Thank you very much.